this video we're working with grouped data and group data means that we don't know exactly what these numbers are but there are six numbers six different heights that are between 140 and 150 but these symbols here mean that it does include 140 but it does not include 150 because if a song was 150 they would be in this uh, interval these are called class intervals because we don't know exactly where what what the heights are but they lie within this window or interval so if someone were to be 146 centimeters tall they would lie in this if they were 172 they would lie in this so how would we estimate the mean height from this we have to make some assumptions because it's asking us to estimate it we can estimate that the height of children in this first interval is the midpoint and the midpoint I'm going to do up here so this is 145 this is 155 this is 165 this is 175 and now this is very similar to the frequency table that we were using before where the M is actually the X value and the F uh, the frequency is the f value and then finding the mean is exactly the same as we did before so we would have the x values the f values we would need to work out the fx values and then we would do the sum of fx all divided by the sum of f now we know from the question the sum of f so i would advise not working that out i would um, I, I would check it by adding the frequencies up but you know that it's 51 so that should save some time so just to give you an idea about how to start this table off the first x value was 145 and the frequency was 6 then we had 155 and the frequency was 16 and so on if we were to um, complete this the total number up at the top is 8,215 and therefore the mean to the nearest centimetre is 161 and now I'd write 3SF three, uh, three meaning three significant figures first, second and third significant figure this shows I've approximated it and, and, and the answer is not exact to find B the median height, that would be the middle person. Now, if there are 51 people, I'd have to do 51 plus 1 divided by 2. And this would be the 26th value. So the 26th value would have to lie not in this one, there are 6 people. And then here, there are a further 16, which makes 22 people so far. Therefore, the 26th person must have laid, laid in this particular class interval. So the, the, mean, uh, the median height would be within this. So if it was asking for the median interval, I would write 160 is the same as less than h, which is less than 170. But it's asking me to estimate the mean height. So I have to try to work out what, where, how much from 160 to 170 do I need to go. Well, if I had counted up to 22 people, then there are a further four people I would need to go into this. So from here to here, there are 21 people. And I'm going in there by four people. So overall, I'm going into this range, or this interval, by four over 21. So 4 out of 21 is the, the amount that I'm going into this interval by. And we could imagine this to be 160, going all the way up to 170. So then I would have to go 4 21sts of the difference, which is 10. And then that is the, the amount that I've gone from 160, so I need to add 160 to that. And then by expanding that out, this is 162 centimetres.
to the nearest centimeter or three significant figures. And the modal class, that's asking for the most common. And the most common here is tw uh, has 21 people, and it's asking for the class. So then I would write down 160 is the same as less than h, which is less than 170. I'll do the next example in the next video.